Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat, and I have a few orders of business to deal with before we um, start. So my all my digital downloads will be will be fifteen percent off October thirtieth through November sixth. So if you're interested in any of my digitals, they will be fifteen percent off Friday, this coming Friday through Friday. Okay, and this video that you'll be seeing is Thursday, so. Tomorrow, basically, is when the sale starts. And then my husband figured out how to do his um, 3D printing with two colors, like putting them together. So I have one cradle that is purple and blue as of now, if you're interested in that. Those won't be 15% off, unfortunately, but um, oftentimes I have to pay shipping on those. And so I just really, it, you know, ends up being not making much is <laughs> what I'm saying because we have to buy the filament and then it takes like 15 hours to print one and yeah so anyway long story short all right so we're still working on the kitty cat journal and this is what the cover looks like so far I'm going to add this piece of lace um like around the spine after I sew it in I just like my spines covered but um, that's not something you have to do you could have it just like that and it would be fine <clears throat> so I haven't sewn these in yet so let's see I'm trying to find a place to put everything and be able to get to my mouse still <laughs> all right so I've added a few things to this there's our little um, you know paper clip that comes off and then um, I have the bag the sack in the middle and I've just decorated that up <clears throat> and I've added some lace and things there's our little pocket that we made together and I added this bookmark in here or you could use it as a, just a journaling tag or something like that <clears throat> and that other side of the bag and there's journaling cards in those and I'll do a full flip through of this once it's all done and then I added a large pocket here and a large tag in there and so I wanted something down at this end, so I'm thinking of using a guest check as a pocket, and I've kind of, you know, already cut the notch in it. I um, glued it to a piece of book page so that it's a little more sturdy and so that the bottom perforation won't come off, because that's, that's a bummer. And I think I'm going to have it, I think I decided this page right here, because I'll just put it down here in the corner. This is Alley the Cockney Crafters Faux Fabric Digital right here. <clears throat> and then I have an envelope that all I've done is cut it down a little bit from its, you know, it was like this tall. It was um, one that my sister gave me, and they were already skinny like this. So um, I'm going to put it on the guest check like so, and then it'll be a flip like that. So we just have to finish covering it and everything. and. Um, I made this little tag. I'm not sure where that's going to go. I can use that as a pocket now. That's the part I cut off the top of this envelope. So let's get work on this. I probably don't even need this part at the moment. <clears throat> so I hope you guys are having a good day. Having a good day. Not sure what I'm going to use. I think I'm going to use these. These are in my Cat's Meow Digi, which is you know, this one with all these cute little cats. Um, what was I going to say? Um, but I just shrunk them down two pages to one page. So that's how they're small like that. <clears throat> and you can do that to make like a little, a smaller journal too. So that's a fun way to do it. And I left my other tear roller downstairs, so I'm just going to use my metal one because it works fine. It doesn't give it quite the same edge, but... It works well. Just trying to get it semi straight here. So, yeah, I hope you guys are having a good day. Hi daughter was exposed to coronavirus through a friend so now she's in quarantine she's been tested once and doesn't have it and I don't think she's gonna have it but um, 
she has to, you know, stay in quarantine for 14 days, so she can't go to school or do any of that. I wish we could just be done with this, and I'm sure everybody does, but it's just aggravating. When they don't have it, and I mean, I know she could end up having it, but when she's sitting at home not going to school, it's not good. So, anyway. That's where we're at with that. <clears throat> First it was work and then it was a, a friend at school, so. I'm just kind of guesstimating where that little window is. I could have probably used one of my uh, little wraparound ones, but do it this way for because this is what I got I don't have the this paper in one of those envelopes I'm working on that but I haven't got that far too many things going on and again I've had some questions about um, custom journals I this is going to be my last custom journal before Christmas I'll you know I'll I can put your name on a list and I'll start again after Christmas, but <clears throat> from here on I'll be working on, you know, Christmas journals and things for Christmas ephemera and just, you know, stuff like that. Because I like to have some Christmas stuff at Christmas time and I can't make that if I'm, you know, doing journals. So I'm just going to take a little break from custom journals and then I'll start again after the new year. If I make more things and um, a few smaller things, it makes it so more people can, you know, get something that I make. Sometimes the journals are more than people can or want to spend, so which I understand. It's just they take me a lot of hours. Because most journals... Even the small ones can take me close to 20 hours. And, you know, it just goes up from there depending on how the size of the journal. So it's just a time consuming project, really. my tires that's probably what that is but I washed my hands afterwards because you know it's cold now so I don't remember having that problem as much in um, all my older cars having to put air in the tires all the time in the winter I don't know it just seems like every winter a couple times I gotta put air in tires I mean I know it's because of the cold air but just kind of aggravating. I should have done that first, huh? <laughs> um, this is just scrapbook paper with this blue. Flowers. And this is scrapbook paper too. That needs to get straightened out. <clears throat> and I think this was the one I got from Hobby Lobby. The I think it's called Diadoza Square. I don't something like that, but it, it was a whole stack that I got at Hobby Lobby. I'm just going to tear it there so I want to keep these flowers. <clears throat> I 
<laughs> so I can't believe like in Colorado they've got like over a f gotten over a foot of snow. That's crazy. I know I mentioned that last time as far as snow coming already. It seems early to me, but I guess it's really not. <clears throat> I'm never ready for winter is probably what the problem is. It's not really the right color blue. I'll use a little bit of this medieval mirage. This down here is pretty. Just need a strip. the bottom with that. fast this year has gone. Even though it seems like it really drug out at points, I don't know, it still feels like it went fast. <clears throat> it's been a wild ride is probably why it's just been one thing after another it seems like. So this will actually get um, glued closed but I want to cover this side and I want to come all the way to here because this flap is going to be glued behind the guest check. So Piece. I'm trying to think, do I want something to write on? I'm going to leave this pretty much clear so you can write on it. <clears throat> do it like this. That would be pretty on there. Let me get... That's the right size. I think I want the rose and more of the blue down at the bottom. So I'll tear it up here. so quiet. I just don't have a whole lot happening because we're all just sort of hanging out. Haven't done much. It's so pretty <clears throat> medieval mirage. Just Great work. Oh, come on, lid. Just want to glue this together. again. I do that every time. Every single time. I glue too far in. I have to be able to close this or, you know, have that flap so I may have to trim over there. I'm just gonna figure out where it goes. 
don't really want to see the that red paper. I'm gonna wait just a second for that to dry a little bit. Turn this up because I got it really crooked. <clears throat> and I'm not going right up to the edge because it's um, the way it's gonna meet the envelope. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't supposed to glue that whole part because I don't want to make my pocket really narrow. So I'm going to take and wipe some of the glue off this edge. And I do this literally every time I do one of these envelopes. You'd think I would learn, but clearly that's not the case. Okay. At least I didn't glue it all down all the way. <laughs> so I just want a thin strip of glue so I don't lose that all that space in my pocket. I'm going to do the top too. Doing good today? Because it's going to open on the side. Or it could open on the top, it's just wherever you want it to open, basically. <clears throat> I just flipped my mat over if you're noticing it's a different color, if you even noticed, I don't know. <laughs> it's my Arteza mat. Oh, and I get these at, I got them at Michael's, they're um, knitting needle caps, so you find them where the knitting needles are. I got that idea, idea from Gail from one of her subscribers. And it works. It works great for me. I know um, a few people said it didn't work for them because the glue still got caught in the nozzle part, but um, I haven't had that problem so far. It still gets stuck up on the tip like it does even with the needle in there. Um, and I have put my needle in it a few times just to make sure it's clear, but I haven't really had a problem, so I think I'm going to keep it like that because it's way easier to keep track of than that little tiny um, pin. So, yeah. And then I just keep the pin close in case I need it. I like, I like that idea. It works pretty good, I think. Oh, you darn thing. Seriously ridiculous. And I keep looking for a new one, but I'm not finding one that I like. I just think I'm going to end up in the same boat because I've had multiples of different kinds of um, circle punches and I've had a heck of a time so if you guys know a good brand just let me know oh, why they're so wimpy okay so this will get glued like so and then um, we'll put a cute little cat something in the middle there. Get rid of this page now that it's a little wet. Okay. I'm just 
sort of trying to center it. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you could use a lot of things. You could use, you know, alteration uh, cards. You could use a flash card right here instead of a guest check if you don't have guest checks. Um, just even a piece of coffee dyed paper, maybe doubled with some book page or something just so that it's a little thicker. That's so even that like that. We'll have a pocket in here. And you could do it from the top. The top would have been good too. And then another one in the side. So it's just totally however you want to do it. You could do them all different ways. <clears throat> I think I want a piece of lace there. Those. <clears throat> Gotta have the ones I use all the time, it seems like. None of that's gonna work. This would be about perfect to use that one. And it's nice because it's a, a thinner lace so that when it's opening and closing it's not really going to be in the way or anything. So that's also nice. It'll just stick out the side of the page. Actually, I might bring it back just a little bit. Let's do this. Try to get them all even so they're <laughs> evenly hanging off the page. So I know these kind of things, um, lots of people do these sort of things. Rachel does them a lot, this type of flip thing. So it's not a new idea, but it's a good one, especially like I have been saying, if you're new and you, and you don't know, then um, what do I want to put in there? in my mind. Okay, we can use this book page that we just tore and put off to the side to go in here. Tear it down a little bit. Needs to be about this size. Sorry if there's any bad words. <laughs> Didn't check it, just set it down. Let's go this way a little. I think don't want it so tight that you can't you know budget because that's no fun this is really not straight 
Thought I had it straight. Okay. And then we can put some of our paper on there. Is that already torn? Yeah. It's hard to tell, I guess both sides are torn, when you use the metal roller because it's, it tears it, you know, finer, it's not as rough, if that makes any sense. Do we want to put on there cat wise? I love this cat. It reminds me of a cat my grandparents had when I was a little kid, I think. I like that one. Oh, that's cute too, that little cat playing. But I think I'm going to go ahead and use him. And I need something else with it. Ink and think, as Gail says. It just needs something to kind of break it up a little bit. It's everything around paper wise I went through it all I have way too much um, scrap paper <gasps> is what I found out I mean I knew I had a lot but it's kind of ridiculous loud today around here. <laughs> I mean outside, <laughs> not inside. Maybe that's why I'm noticing because it's quiet in here but loud out there. working with these cats. They're so cute. I think I kind of might put it up a little bit higher. Yeah, so he looks like he's sitting there. <laughs> Somebody, I can't remember who it was was laughing at me because I have to have them sitting on something, which I don't know what that's about, but you know. It's just very in.
This is a Tina at Shabby Dabby Doo Dahs, one of her, um, I can't remember which one she calls this. It's not the one with these numbers. It's the one with more of like the prices and things like that. You can, or I don't know. I can't remember who's, who was laughing at me. Because <laughs> yes, I'm a goofball. They can't just be floating there in space, right? I'm gonna wrinkle this edge a little. Maybe. You know. And I'm going to use our glitter glue. This paper is a little bit thicker. I just want to make sure it stays down. And I'm going to go ahead and set him right up on there. His bum's hanging off a little bit, that's okay. At least he sort of looks like he's sitting on something instead of just floating. And I think I'm going to leave it as a hole like that instead of um, doing the corners like on a tag, you know? Maybe I'll round the corners so I could do that. And we need to back it. Like this paper. And this is just that kitty paper that's um, been coffee dyed. Pretty grungy. Yeah, my husband was funny with that book cradle with the two different colors because he's been trying to figure out how to make that work because he knew it could work. He just couldn't figure out, you know, how to make it happen. And so. He came home from work last yesterday and it was just finishing printing and he was excited that it was had worked. Cause sometimes crazy stuff happens with that and it <laughs> it'll just dump a whole bunch in a weird spot and it keeps printing on those things, those three D printers are crazy. crazy to watch too because it just does it layer by layer by layer. Super thin layers too, just super thin layers until it stacks it up to, you know, the book cradle. But, uh, um, that's why it takes so many hours to print one. It would be nice though to have be able to do that because we do have like parts of rolls that aren't finished but it's not enough to make another cradle with so um, it would be nice to be able to make some like multicolored ones if everybody likes them. Okay so what did I do with that? My brain. Oh I wonder if you're even going to see the cat. This may be going in the back pocket. <laughs> Because I never even check. Nope, it's too high up. <laughs> okay, he'll go behind here. <laughs> we'll make another one to go in there and I'll pay attention this time. Oh my gosh. Some days. Actually, I should say most days, right? Get on autopilot and this ones are not big enough. So, 
this. I'm gonna just start by taking the sides off. This is older book page. It tears a lot easier. I can use these edges to make those little cluster things. I like those. I like having those around. They're a nice addition. This is the weirdest book. This old book. It has the strangest pictures in it. I can use that piece too. Okay, so how tall? Let's do about there. I'll go a little bit higher just because, like last time, it was still a little bit too much, and then I want to tear this in too. It's really hard for me to use this metal roller because I can't tell how much I'm tearing off. Still didn't get it straight, but it's good. That one works. I think it's a tiny bit smaller than the other one, but it's okay. Alright, let's see. We need... I want a kitty cat that I could see, and I think I figured out yesterday that this little guy you can see through here. This one, or was it a different one? I'll have to cut some off the edge of that to make that work. Try to get this as straight as possible. I'm just going to go right up to the kitty cat. Take just a tiny bit off this side. Tiny bit off the top. a little crooked but it's okay and then I need to figure out where on the card it's gonna go to be seen so about there. <laughs> so let's do, we need to cover that first though. Pieces. It's almost down to the bottom. I think I can remember, hopefully. I want some of the blue because we seem to be doing some blue with this. Huh, with this particular little guy. So just a little bit more off the bottom. Always trial and error. Go 
all the way over to there. I might turn that up a little bit. the way that's torn the edge are my bigger scissors I usually do like those torn edges but for some reason that was just not working for me So do we all wonder what we're even doing for Christmas? <laughs> I mean, we have a super small family, so it'll be pretty easy for us to see each other. But I know I've heard lots of places that are still on lockdown. You know, they don't even really think they're going to have like Thanksgiving or Christmas. And that's just so crazy. Uh, so let me know if, if you know what you're doing or not. I mean, I guess nobody even puts your nose, but we're all kind of just flying by the seat of our pants, aren't we? So to speak. be really nice if we could get back to something resembling normal. At this point, for my daughter's age group, all the kids in college, it's like, I really almost think they should just let them get it or whatever. I mean, obviously stay away from the elderly and things like that, but I don't know. I just think it's crazy to just keep stopping the world, but I'm no expert, so it's just an opinion. more plain on the back. I never even ended up using those little cat pages that I printed. I'm going to throw all my scraps over here to see if I can find something. I took these out of that tall ledger that I, um, that journal for my niece with. I never did do the flip through on that because her wedding got canceled and then I just everything sort of <laughs> stopped as it does. I mean we'll be back on this year hopefully if everything goes well. But she wasn't able to have the wedding so I 
I did use some of these tall pages in that journal of hers. Goopy spots. Okay. All right, there's that one, and I think you'll be able to see the kitty cat this time. <laughs> I was so worried about having some place for that other one to sit that I messed it up, but that's good because now I have both of the cards that go in those pockets. So let me see. Find our page again. Where was that one? I hate co covering those flowers, but <clears throat> I really wanted something right here, so let's move that for now. And then see, it'll flip like that. <clears throat> so let's get that glued down. And then I'll probably sew the signatures in, and I will probably do a flip through tomorrow. I may add a few more things, but for the most part, it's pretty much done. So that's exciting. And then it's going to be full time Christmas. <laughs> I may do a few other things just for a respite for you guys, but <clears throat> and I'll probably do, I'd like to do like some ornaments usually and other stuff too, so it won't just be journal things. I'm going to let that dry before I put that other little tag in, but that is that. And I want to thank you guys for all your support and your kind words about my crazy pumpkin painting and all those type of things. <laughs> and just support in general. You guys are awesome. So, anywho, we will chat again soon. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye now. <laughs>